is the real estate market going to crash again this is probably the most googled search on the internet you can find these days especially since the hike of the interest rate that almost doubled from just a few months ago welcome back to my channel my name is Asfir Popolevsky. i'm a real estate broker in new york and new jersey and today we will be doing a market update specifically for staten island new york on the housing prices and what's happening here and what i'm going to show you today is i'm going to share my screen with you so you can see it we're going to look at the data and specifically what i really wanted to talk to you about today is through this hype over two years with the real estate market the huge competition the rising prices it's been extremely difficult for buyers to purchase a home if they had fha financing and va financing and the va financing is specifically a program that is for our veterans and because of the very low inventory in the marketplace and because there was such huge competition with buyers removing appraisal contingencies and removing inspection contingencies the buyers who had the fha loans and the buyers who had the va loans were having a really really difficult time to buy a home so today i've noticed something very interesting and about that but we'll get back to it in a little bit first i wanted to show you what's going on on staten island as far as the housing market so let's look at this alrighty so staten island updates for the month of july and this is what cyborg is telling us the new listings in staten island decreased 11.9 percent to 546 pending sales were down 32.2 percent to 327 inventory levels fell 14.7 percent to 1569 units prices however continue to gain traction and that is because the low inventory the median sale price increased by 9.9 percent to 690,000. and we've talked about the same number so no change from last month to this month the days on the market was down by 20.6 percent to only 59 days buyers felt empowered as month's supply of inventory was up by 1.9 percent to 3.9 months checking market overview is new listings last year in july we had 620 homes on the market it is only 546 on this year decrease of 11.9 percent and a total year over year decrease from last year 2021 to this year 2022 is 4.8 percent depending sales also have experienced a reduced reduction of 32.2%, 482 July of 2021 versus 327 July of 2022. And an overall year to that decrease of 16.6%. The close sales are also went down 487 close sales and 460 july of 2022 a decrease of 5.5 percent and a year over year decrease of 6.1 percent days on the market also decreased 20.6 percent it takes that much faster to sell homes on staten island and then a year to date 67 days then minus less 30.2 percent the median sale price again have gone up last july of 2021 to this july of 2022 by 9.9 percent and year to date 10.9 percent the average sale price increased wow 654 thousand. the average sale price was july of 2021 to 743 thousand july of 2022 an increase in the average sale price by 13.6 percent in a year to year to date year by 11.0 percent the percentage of original list price received is still up 1.8 percent 
and year to date 2.7% and this the inventory of the available home for sale is down by 14.7% and the month supply of inventory from July of last year to July of 2022 is up by 1.9 now that we looked at the data the local data here on Staten Island from the past month let's take a look at something very interesting so in the past three months exactly and this this is data for just sold properties that already closed we had a total of 1070 properties that have closed in the last three months the interesting part about it is i combined here the cash buyers, the conventional buyers, the FHA buyers, and the VA buyers. Now look what happens. I'm going to remove the cash conventional and I'm only going to put down the FHA and the VA loan and look at the difference. We had 1,070 closed sales in the last three months and only 27 of those were sold to buyers with FHA and VA loan. And this is really unfortunate just to show you what people had to go through. But at least that makes me feel better because it gives us some signs that the possibility of the market out a little bit is a good thing because I feel that the fact that some buyers can't even afford to get a mortgage at those numbers, first of all, it's going to level out the prices a bit. And second, some of the buyers that are no longer on the marketplace and are staying away from it or thinking that they are staying away from it, allowing some opportunities for other buyers who may not have 20% down or 30 or 40 or even 50% down and do have to utilize the FHA financing opportunities and for our veterans who are utilizing VA loan that mostly they don't really come in with any down payment at all. I hope that is going to give them some opportunity because sellers may start looking at other options. Sellers may start giving a little bit more leeway to those kind of things because in the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with selling your home to a buyer who has FHA financing or VA financing. I think that a lot of us had come to fear these kind of things and stay away and only want to sell to buyers who are getting conventional mortgages or even cash. And so I feel that still on Staten Island, as we see in the data, the inventory is a bit up but it's still not enough to supply all the demand are doing really good on Staten Island. So I hope this market update has been helpful to you. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell because you don't want to miss all the market updates along with other interesting videos that I take a time and do here. It takes a really long time to come up with the data and to give that data to you. So if you have any questions, comments, please do so down below. If you need help assessing what the value of your house is, I'm only a call, text, or email away. My information is down below. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you on the next video.